then uh, other landmark works. Uh, there is. Well, we'll, we'll talk about money in a minute because uh, you, you, you need read, to talk you about You read money. in my mind because that was yeah. something I was money about to debts. mention. Money as debt by Paul money Rignon. Masters. Money masters. Yes, those were also important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just going back to Zeitgeist, I, the one bit I remember is that one of the sort of one of the leading lights, so to speak, in the 9/11 movement. One of the best speakers is David Ray Griffin, who was a professor of theology. Theology. And then uh, there's a, quite a good story I heard. Uh, he was just about to retire, and uh, he was at his university, and he saw some of his students looking at 9/11 websites. 9/11 was an inside job. And he said, oh, you know, what are you doing with that? Don't Conspiracy believe that. Conspiracy theory, 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 yeah. And they said, oh, no, Professor, look at this. And they, and they ended, and he said, oh, send me some links. And the story goes, like, he, he went to, he got home at 10.30, put on his computer thinking, oh, I'll look at this conspiracy theory and go to bed. And at four o'clock or something... He got hooked. Yeah, four o'clock he got yeah. hooked and he, and he was completely convinced. And he's a guy who'd already re written 20, 25 books. So I he's, he's so. a good research. I mean, he, he's not going to just take anything at face value. But in the film, uh, there's actually a clip of him on uh, Must Be Fox or one of those, MSNBC. And they're taught... I think it's a religious guy saying um, something about you shouldn't spread this dogma about 9-11. So Peter Joseph tied their religion and the 9-11 together very well. Yeah. And the thing about Zeitgeist is a, it's an amazing experience to watch it because it's got, it's got great music, it's, it's produced in a very modern way. And let's face it, if you're going to make a documentary and you want people to take notice, you've got to make it accessible. You know? Yes. Because Money Masters, which we'll talk about in a minute, it's a good film, but it's like three and a half hours and it's the, the guy is just standing in front of monuments giving this history lesson. You know. <laughs> this Bill Steele, the American, Bill Steele, yeah, yes, yeah, the yeah. American reformer. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Zygas was, I think, Zygas the movie was the first thing in his genre, I think. It was, mm -hmm. uh, I, there may have been something uh, before mm -hmm. uh, that, but uh, uh, to reach such a wider audience, I mm -hmm. think, uh, it was watched, uh, they estimate, by more than uh, 100 million people, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and then they removed it from, uh, from I don't know if there was, maybe there was YouTube, but the, those days, but it Google, Google video. it was Google, Google video. video, they removed it several times yeah. before, because of uh, copyright claims, copyright yeah. infringement, uh, yeah. and, but there is this, I think it reached a lot, a lot of people, yeah. and uh, definitely um, a very uh, landmark yeah. work. But I find it a bit strange, that out of those 100 million, I can't believe there weren't a few more than uh, however many have taken some action or just... Uh, well, I don't know whether... Do they need to take action? I'm not saying they should be on the street go out protesting, but out of those hundred million, I'd be amazed if there weren't a large proportion of that that watched that film and went, wow, you know... What can we do about what it? What can we do? Or at least <laughs> that must have changed my perspective a little bit because yeah. in a nutshell, the religious one is basically talking about the story of Jesus, that um, uh, the Son of God, S-O-N, means Son, S-U-N. And um, is that right? And the 12 disciples are the 12 star signs. Yes, there's a lot of connection with mm. uh, astronomy, astrology, mm -hmm. ancient uh, uh, paganism from, yeah. you know, the cult of Mitra, uh, from uh, Egypt, uh, from yeah. uh, even uh, Rome. Mm. And it seems that... Um, mm, Whoever uh, put together the uh, the, the story, uh, you know, mm. the life of Jesus, uh, uh, plagiarized. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't respect Horace, the copyright. Horus, for example, of, uh, of, yeah. of a lot of uh, deities and uh, gods and goddesses that uh, used to be yeah. um, worshipped uh, mm. many many uh, millenn millennia ago, in a yeah, way. Yeah. So it seems that they have drawn a lot of stories from uh, mm. from those uh, cults, uh, mm. packaged them together and propose this as the only God, mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to, you know, the, uh, what they call it, polytheism, I think, the, uh, the, what you have in India, for instance, several gods and goddess, uh, yeah. and you can choose whichever uh, yeah. you, you, you like the most. Yeah. Uh, of course, the Bible's been rewritten, the Bible's been translated, rewritten, I mean, how, ma how many different uh, sects of Christianity are there? I mean, there's thousands, so, I mean... Surely, you know, I don't, I don't know whether I want to go into the religious thing because, I, you know, it's a, it's a hot topic. I don't know. I just think, um, I just think uh, 
they can't really seem to agree. They can't agree on anything. I mean, why do we need thousands of sects of Christianity? I mean, I'll give you a little anecdote. Uh, I went to work, um, I'm a teacher, I went to work at a new school, and there's a guy in there, and everybody said, oh, this guy's very into religion. And I thought, oh, okay, very fine, you know. I'm open-minded about it, because uh, I think a lot of people do use religion as a, as a spiritual tool. You know, I know lots of people, and they're often the nicest people you could ever meet. Because they go to church, they have a personal relationship with God, mm -hmm. which I think is great. You know, I have a personal relationship with something. You know, I don't know what it is exactly, but there's something. But um, yeah, and, and this guy, I was talking to him, and at one point he said, uh, "You know, what, what religion are you? You're Catholic?" And I said, "Well, I was brought up as a Catholic." And he said, uh, "Well, I'm a Presbyterian, so I think we can get on well." And I was thinking, you know, what. <laughs> What happens if I'm a terrible guy, or like, you know, you're a horrible guy? Or maybe I'm a, I'm, uh, I'm a, mus a Muslim, but I'm a very yeah. good person. Can yeah. we just get on because yeah. we are human beings and, yeah. and we have all to gain if we get along well, you know, yeah. and we cooperate instead of antagonizing one another? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, so, yeah, in, in the first part of Zeitgeist, so they talk about the story of Horace. And then I think at some point he scrolls down the screen hundreds of different gods who have a similar story. Now, to play devil's advocate, has some of this been debunked? Uh, maybe not the central idea, but I think some of it may have been debunked. Like I'm some sure, of the gods. I'm sure there have been yeah. a lot of attempts. Uh, but mm. I think that the first part of uh, Zygis, the movie, was based on the book of a woman. Uh, oh, I don't yeah. remember her name, and she has a website as well. So yeah. it's quite well documented. Um, mm. You know... Uh, what Peter Joseph does normally is always documented, maybe not mm. straight away, but he always, you know, finds the, the, the references and the sources to yeah. the claims he makes. Uh, then yeah. obviously there will be people we, uh, mm. that disagree and, you know, will find fault, obviously. Mm. But uh, uh, there is a lot of material, actually, and, uh, and probably, uh, you know, from... Although I think that... Uh, uh, the, the filmmaker Peter Joseph has uh, di distanced himself a little bit from that movie so it's not even probably yeah. the best movie he made it mm. had a lot of impact in my personal experience yeah. uh, you know in, on the path to awareness uh, and as, as much as it did with many other people mm. but he made actually something that uh, is I think more more pertinent and more relevant mm. which is the third uh, episode of the series yeah, which is called uh, moving forward uh, mm. that's the one that i would probably recommend uh, to watch mm. uh, to uh, someone who hasn't uh, watched anything really that would be the first one that, isn't that quite heavy or it's three well, hours and... uh, it's almost three hours i think yeah. it's two hours something uh, mm. i don't know well you know you can do like me you watch it uh, in mm. a little piece like 30 yeah. because it's divided into parts yeah, segments that one as yeah, well yeah. but those uh, who have a short attention span they can also watch the uh, Culture in Decline series, uh, yeah. which is a more recent uh, one series. covering this, all these topics uh, about society, yeah. you know, monetary system, coercion, mm. uh, violence, uh, structural mm. violence, etc. Mm. Uh, in uh, uh, clips of 20, 25 minutes, I think. Uh, yeah. yeah. In a way. So yeah. uh, it's, uh, th there's a lot of, of material out there. Uh, yeah. Even besides what Peter Joseph has done, that there's a lot of uh, very good filmmakers mm. and writers. So let's um, let's speculate. Let's, let's start with 9/11 because I think 9/11 is, is is something that everybody's so aware of. You know, everybody knows what supposedly happened. On we know that the people died and the towers came down. We know that. The official um, narrative. The official narrative. Yeah. So um, I mean, there, to be honest, there's so much to go into. I mean, there's a there's a website 911truth.org. And they've got 40 reasons, no, 40, top 40 reasons to doubt the official story. So for anybody who's never doubted the official story, there's a website, top 40 reasons, which doesn't mean the only 40. And I don't know whether we should, we need to go into, I think it's better if people just go to a, a website like 911truth.org. So. Yes. Um, but, okay, let's say that the official version is true. Um, what, what was the legislation that came straight after it? We had the Patriot Act, we had the uh, Homeland Security. Um, the TSA, the Transport the TSA. Safety Authority. Yeah. Very yeah. intrusive. Yeah. 